A sealed gas syringe contains 2.5 times 10 to the power of minus 4 meters cubed of air at a pressure of 1 times 10 to the 5 pascals. The plunger is pushed in until the volume of the trapped gas is 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 4 meters cubed. If there is no change in temperature, what is the new pressure of the gas? Now we're going to use list equation solve state to structure our calculation and let's have a go at this. So first of all, let's make a data list. What do we know? Well, first of all, we know that the original volume V1 is equal to 2.5 times 10 to the power of minus 4 meters cubed. We know that the original pressure P1 is equal to 1 times 10 to the power of 5 pascals. And that, by the way, is atmospheric pressure. The once we've pushed the plunger in and we've squashed, compressed that gas a little bit, the new volume, V2, is 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 4 meters cubed. And the new pressure, that's what we're trying to find. So that's our question mark, and that's going to come out in pascals if we're using pascals here. And the the question is, what equation are we going to use? Now, note that the temperature is kept constant. And if that's the case, then we know that this must be Boyle's law, which relates the pressure and the volume together at a constant temperature. So the equation we're going to use is that PV is equal to a constant, a constant number. And we'll use the variation of this equation, which is P1 V1 will be equal to P2 V2. That's Boyle's law. So pressure times volume in the first situation will equal pressure times volume in the second situation. And it might be a good idea here to rearrange this. Because we're looking for P2, let's divide both sides by V2. So we can say that uh, P1 V1 divided by V2 is going to be the pressure that we're looking for. So now all we need to do is put the numbers in. So P2 is equal to now. We've got 1 times 10 to the power of 5. That's our P1. We're going to multiply that by 2.5 times 10 to the power of minus 4. That's our V1 divided through by V2, which is 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 4. Put that into your calculator and we've got P2 equals 1.56250 oh, and that's going to be in pascals. Now at this point we need to put it in a form uh, which is a little bit more readable. So if you press your ENG key on your calculator at this point which stands for engineering prefix it'll give it to you in the nearest prefix kilo, mega, that kind of thing. And if you do that, you'll find that we get 156.25 times by 10 to the 3, and that'll be pascals. So we could leave it like that. Um, however, our starting data is only two significant figures at the most, so we should really round this to two or three significant figures at the most. We would have to round this to say 156, the times 10 to the 3 stands for kilo, so this is kilopascals. Alternatively, you could write it in standard form, so it would be 1.56 times 10 to the power of 5 pascals. Either is absolutely fine.
So that's a calculation involving Boyle's law that pressure times volume is always a constant as long as the temperature is kept constant.